I mean, sorry to the people out there who took all the ingredients from deodorant and then took them home and mixed them up and made your own, like, jar of chemicals that you labeled for tattoos. Sorry. It's already been done. It's called deodorant. Literally what they do <clears throat> is they get deodorant, melt it down, put it in a jar, and label it for tattoos. Save some money, just get these, get, I mean, technically, look, you're just buying wholesale. You know, you're just buying, you're like, you're going like farm to table. Tattoo transfer bomb. Yeah, I agree with Bernie though. It is overwhelming how many different um, types of deodorant there are on the shelf at the store. So when you're going there trying to pick out which one to use your tattoo thingy with, which deodorant? Which deodorant is best? That's a good question. Um, a good question that's already been answered on a few of my shows. I get it. Subscribe. You won't miss the good answers. But um, it's the one and only, ladies and gentlemen and everybody else. It's Speedstick. Speedstick uh, has been around since a long ass time and they use the most parabens and the most aluminum. This shit will clog up your pores. I do not recommend this as deodorant. I do not recommend wearing speed stick in sensitive areas of skin. I only recommend this product for its intended purpose, transfer tattoo, transfer paper, ink, skin tattoo, transfer. That's it. I've used every other type of deodorant none of them work as well as speed stick all of them are healthier for your armpits i let me repeat get any other deodorant for your armpits but when it comes to tattoos speed stick seriously <laughs>